This is lesson 6.6, .6, Trapezoids and Kites. Your objectives are to recognize and apply the properties of trapezoids, including the medians of trapezoids, and to recognize and apply the properties of kites. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides. The mid-segment, or median, of a trapezoid is the segment that connects the midpoints of the legs. Its measure is half the sum of the bases. If the legs are congruent, then the trapezoid is an isosceles trapezoid. And in an isosceles trapezoid, both pairs of base angles are congruent and the diagonals are congruent. With respect to the median, we can make the formula that the median equals half b1 plus b2. It's half the sum of the bases. Find each measure. Number one, the measure of angle C. Notice the change here. We're going to look for the measure of angle C. Well, this is a trapezoid, which means that you have one pair of parallel sides. So when you have parallel sides cut by a transversal, you have consecutive interior angles here. And consecutive interior angles are supplementary. So if the measure of angle A is 125, then 180 minus that is 55, and that's the measure of angle C. In a trapezoid, look for consecutive interior angles, and they're supplementary. Number two, the measure of angle L. This is another trapezoid because one pair of opposite sides is parallel. We know the 40 degree angle and the 40 degree angle and angle L are a pair of consecutive interior angles which are supplementary. They add up to 180. So 180 minus 40 is 140. So the measure of angle L is 140. Watch for consecutive interior angles. They are supplementary. For trapezoid HJKL, M and N are the midpoints of the legs. Number five. If the measure of segment HJ is 32 and the measure of segment LK is 60, find the measure of segment MN. Well, since M and N are midpoints of those sides, then that makes segment MN the median and the median is half of the sum of the bases and those bases are 32 and 60. So the median is 46. Remember, to find the median it's half the sum of the bases. Another way to check is that the median has a difference from each base that's the same from 32 to 46 you're just adding 14 and from 46 to 60 you're adding another 14 that difference will always be the same for the median number six if the measure of segment HJ equals 18 and the measure of segment MN equals 28 find the measure of segment LK well, on this one, you know the median, and you're looking for the other base. In this case, use the difference. From 18 to 28, you're just adding 10. So add 10 more. From 28 to 10 more would be 38. So the measure of segment LK is 38. So if you're looking for the median, then do half the sum of the bases. But if you're looking for one of the bases, find the difference from the median to, and one base and use that same difference to go from the median to the other base. A kite is a quadrilateral with exactly two pairs of consecutive congruent sides. Unlike a parallelogram, the opposite sides of a kite are not congruent or parallel. 
some properties of kites. The diagonals are perpendicular and exactly one pair of opposite angles is congruent. Use these properties to solve the problems. If GHJK is a kite, find each measure. Find the measure of angle JRK. Well, angle JRK occurs where the diagonals intersect, and one of the properties of a kite is that the diagonals are perpendicular. So that's a right angle. So the measure of angle JRK equals 90. Number two, if the measure of segment RJ equals 3 and the measure of segment RK equals 10, find the measure of segment JK. Well, those three sides make a right triangle because the diagonals are perpendicular. So we're looking for the hypotenuse of a right triangle. You can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the third side of a right triangle a squared plus b squared equals c squared. The legs are 3 and 10, and the hypotenuse is segment JK. We'll work this out and solve for the measure of segment JK. 3 squared is 9, and 10 squared is 100. Add those and get 109. and then square root each side. So JK is approximately 10.4. Since the diagonals are perpendicular, we were able to form a right triangle there and do the Pythagorean theorem to find the missing side. Number four, if the measure of segment HJ equals seven, find the measure of segment HG. Well, kites have consecutive sides congruent on each end of it. We have two congruent sides on the top of this and two congruent sides on the bottom of this. HG and HJ are those congruent sides. They're both 7. So the measure of segment HG is 7. A kite has two pairs of consecutive congruent sides. Number five, if the measure of segment HG equals seven and the measure of segment GR equals five, find the measure of segment HR. Well, here we have two sides of a triangle and we know that that's a right triangle because the diagonals of a kite are perpendicular. So I can just do the Pythagorean theorem to find the third side. The legs are the measure of segment HR and 5, and the hypotenuse is 7. And now I'll solve for the measure of segment HR. 5 squared is 25, and 7 squared is 49. Subtract 25 from each side. and then square root each side, and the measure of segment HR is approximately 4.9. Since the diagonals of a kite are perpendicular, it makes four right triangles, and if you know two sides of one of those triangles, you can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the missing side.